All right, well, good morning, everyone. I am pleased to be here today alongside Minister of Education, Dimitrios Nikolaitis, Minister of Infrastructure, Pete Guthrie, Patricia Bolger, who's chair of the Calgary Board of Education, and Julie Cusick, who is chair of the Edmonton Public School Board, to speak to, with you about the announcement we made yesterday evening on our latest investment in Alberta students and how we're addressing serious enrollment pressures all across the province. As I said in my televised address last night, and as Alberta's K-12 educators and students know well, our education system is experiencing an unprecedented surge in student population. A record number of people are choosing to relocate to Alberta. That's a testament to the Alberta advantage, our strong economy and the great quality of life that people find here and, make it, and which makes our province one of the most attractive places to live in Canada. But that increase in population is adding about 33,000 students to our education system each year. So that's the equivalent of about 35 schools uh, every year. In Budget 2024, we allocated record funding to build and modernize new schools to accommodate the growing number of students, but it's simply not enough to address this incredible growth. That's why we're increasing our K-12 capital budget for the new school spaces, as well as modernizations through the School Construction Accelerator Program. The new program will allow us to complete construction on about 50,000 new student spaces over the next three years, and complete more than 150,000 new spaces in the four years after that. This is the fastest and largest build our province can manage given the capacity of our construction workforce and the time that it takes to permit and prepare and service available school sites. Still, we need more spaces now. So as we ramp up to full construction capacity, we're funding the purchase of new specialized modular classrooms to provide more than uh, 20,000 new student spaces over the next four years. And in addition, we will add 12,500 new charter school uh, student spaces over the next four years by providing funding to pilot a charter school accelerator program. We are committed to providing school choice for parents and that program aligns with our commitment. Another way we're supporting parent choice in education is by developing a school capital pilot program for nonprofit private schools. The funding will incentivize independent schools to invest and create thousands of new student spaces at a reduced cost to taxpayers. We know that every student deserves a quality education in a school that can meet their learning needs and set them on a path to success in the future. That's why, to ensure every student has a space, we're getting our school construction accelerator program off the ground right now. Cabinet and Treasury Board have approved funding to immediately move 10 previously announced school projects to the next stage of project delivery, and that includes six projects moving from the design stage to full construction funding. We, and we hope to have construction completed on many more schools before the end of the school year. It is an ambitious goal and our government will work with all partners including municipalities and school boards to make it a reality and I look forward to seeing shovels in the ground and more spaces for students very soon. 